you know what? You know what? I like Sarah Holmes. I grew up watching Sarah Holmes from the 80s. Remember the TV series? New Fences from Sarah Holmes. I watched some of the old movies. And I watched some when the legendary Peter Trusson, even Watson Moore played Sarah Holmes. And most famous for playing Bond and the Say. And I remember that for other well known actors, whether it be Christopher Lee or whoever, played Sarah Holmes. Especially, you know, a lot of actors played Sarah Holmes. There have been different versions of Sarah Holmes, there have been books of Sarah Holmes, you name it, they've done it. Right? You name it, they've done it. But, however, but this Sarah Holmes, I ate. I total and utter spies this Sarah Holmes. Now, this sort of owns, right, came out in 2011. And yes, it did something different. And doesn't mean I've got to dilute it. Right? If we like it, yeah, but if things are the same, things will be boring. No, 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 no. Allow me to explain. There are some differences I like in films. There are some difference, right? Nothing has to be the same. I can name a lot of sort of owns that did things different. There was one with Michael Tane, right? In the, I think it was early 90s or late 80s. And that was a definitely made film. You know why it was a definitely made film? Because it manipulated you. You think Sir Owens was the star. And instead it was Watson. Ebenezer Watson. As they say. You know, Ebenezer. Duh. Because something else what Michael Tain did. But yeah. But you know, Watson, his assistant was the star of it. And they made Sir you make you think Sir Owens was the star. And it was the other way around. Very tough, definitely made. Steven Spielberg did one, definitely made. Never gets the DVD, but this shit does. Never gets the DVD, but this garbage does. Gold the Lung at Fences of Sir Owens. Came out in 1985. A damn unestimated film. One I sooner review than this. And yes, this is going to be a rant. A rant and a review. Because this is CGR effects, right? Okay, the two London from the 18th century, I'll give it its due. They really make it authentic and really make it look like it is in that era. Big word for me. But I don't like this actor. I detest this actor. I also hate this actor. This actor, as we all know, I did a rant on him when he did Alpha. Right? Almost every Michael Tain, what was a remake, he paid Michael Tain. And he's no Michael Tain. And I can't stand this actor neither. I completely not detest this actor. So when you've got two actors... If I ate, I don't give a shit if they get killed or not, it doesn't dilute the film. And it doesn't feel like Sir the Holmes. End of discussion, end of argument. This does not feel like Sir the Holmes. There's a bit in it where he's doing knuckle fighting. Now I know before we ever had boxing, in the 18th century, there was knuckle fighting, right? I don't buy this man, Sir the Holmes, a detective, an eccentric character, Going out doing knuckle fighting. Punch me. I don't see Sir Owens on a Saturday night going out doing bloody knuckle fighting. I just don't see it. And to me, I just felt like, to be honest, Sir Owens is outdated. It was good in its day. I can name a lot of actors that I felt play Sir Owens and justify Sir Owens better than him. Better than this actor there that I don't like. Personal reasons. Okay, he's a good actor. But in real life, he's a dick, right? There's nothing to tense him, but he's a dick. But it just didn't feel like a Sir Holmes film. you got one die in it. It's about to whack, I think, Ava Watson or Sir Holmes. I didn't give a shit if lift or died. Repeat what I just said earlier on. Because I don't like the actors. I don't like the actors. So I don't give a shit if the characters get killed, right? He's about to get wrapped. He's big die. He's big, big die. He's big dummy ammo. Supposed to be muster there. CGR. Don't forget, everything these days is going to be CGR. And he just didn't think it went with his film. And he felt Sura Owens is outdated. It's outdated. You want to see Sura Owens, right? Done better. There's a thing of BBC where it's based on the modern times. Modern times with Sura Owens. That's Tefer. That's unique. This is old hack. It's old hack. 
The only actor I felt would really paid it, really portrayed it, the racer of the homes should have been was an 80s TV series called The New Adventures of Sir the Holmes. Or it was also called The Adventures of Sir the Holmes. Come out in the early 80s and sadly ended, I think, in the late 80s. It had a downbeat ending, I think, in the very last one, Sir the Holmes got killed. But nevertheless, that portrayed the 18th century better than this shit. Better than this garbage. The debate it was supposed to say for woman. There's been it where he's thinking beer. There's a bit where he's snogging a woman. And it just doesn't feel like Sir Holmes. Does not feel like Sir Bloody Holmes. Knuckle fighting. Acting like a dance star. I'm sorry, sorry to, to upset people that like this film. I don't like it. I'll repeat it. It just did not feel like I was watching Sir Holmes. Sir Holmes to me is a guy that sits at home. Reading a book. Smoking a pipe. Drinking a drink. Thinking of Vista, that's Sir the Holmes to me. That's how I always looked at Sir the Holmes. Yeah, sometimes people think, oh, you just like it because you want it just to be how it was in your day. Rewind what I just said. Rewind what I just said. Rewind it. I can name loads what did it different. One with Michael Tain paid it was a comedy where Watson was more of the star. I can name the lung offences of Sir Holmes. Yeah, it was made more for kids, but it was Sir Holmes as a lung lad. The offences of the lung Sir Holmes never gets a DVD, but this garbage dust. The one with Michael Tain never gets a DVD. This garbage dust. And I don't get it. Shoot me. I don't get it. There's not really that much of a story. Someone's about to blow up the building. Sir Holmes comes to the rest so Rest up, and that's the words, it's turning me words into muss. Comes out to save the day, right? Comes out to save the bloody day. If you freaking do that, wow. What do you want? Poo Peter Bats? So, it comes out to save the day. You've got CTI and explosions. Now, to let me remind one, not every film, not every film needs CTI. Just give it a good story. Don't get me wrong, remind what I just said. I like the way it's portrayed in the 18th century. For the budget, so what? TV series had a lower budget and did it better than this. Just do a decent story. Why does everything have to be CGI all the time? CGI explosions, CGI gunfire. You know, I could barely tell you the story of this film, and I seen it double double years ago, and I could barely tell you the story because it's so forgot, so there. I mean, I even forget my words. So forgettable, I meant to say. So forgettable that even I've forgotten the words to this garbage because it's garbage. Special features, don't give a shit. Because I don't give a shit about the film. I just don't give a shit about the film. This film is garbage. It's forgettable. I thought at this point, Sir Holmes is outdated. Of all the films they could make, why another Sir Holmes film? Why? How many actors have played Sir Holmes? I've just named so many. Michael Tain, Walter Moore, Christopher Lee, Peter Tussin. Even actors, so I can't even now say their name. The one who've ever played it, I felt the best was the one in the TV series. He portrayed Sir Holmes how he should have been. Him, Miss Tast. Him, Miss Tast. Him, he's a pity boy. Him, he's a pity boy. End of distortion, end of argument. Mover, Darbage. Points, I'll give it one. I'll give it one to be generous because I like the way they made London look like it was in the 18th century. Other than that, Darbage. See you later.